I've created a Google site and I want to programmatically add users to be shared on the published view of the site. Normally, when you share people on the published view, you can go to share with others. And you can see here, I've got one user here, Mrs. Yagi-san today as a published viewer. And you can add in your users as you go. In this case, the site is published under the restricted format, and that says only people with access can open with a link. This might be useful if you're sharing a site to a particular group within your domain or sharing a site just with specific users. So how do we do this with Google Apps Script? We can share users the same way programmatically as you would share other files and folders in Google Drive. The only issue here is that we're not 100% certain what the file ID is going to be. Okay, so let's go over to share users here. And the first we're going to do is create a function. And that function is called get site URL from folder. Folder. Okay, so let's make a folder ID just quickly inside. You can make this a parameter if you want in the future. And that's going to be equal to the folder ID here because we know our test site is here so it's the same one that matches this test site so i'm going to grab this folder id here hit Control c and i know there's only one site url in here as well so that's going to be helpful for us too let's create a constant called folder and that's and now we're going to use the the drive app class and we're going to use the get folder there we go, by ID. And that ID is going to be fold ID. Nice. And we're going to do the same with files. So we also want to grab all the files within that folder. So there will be two files here. So we're going to create another constant called files. And that's going to be equal to folder.getFiles. Okay. So that's going to create an array constructor that we can loop through. So let's use the while loop here and we can say files dot has next. So if there is a next value in files, then we want to do something with it. So we're next we want to say const file and that file for each iteration is going to be files dot next. That's going to allow us to use the Google Drive methods on that file. And what we want just want to do is console log. So we're going to say file get mimi type. And that's going to tell us the file type. And then we want file dot get it. You could also use the search method for this, but we'll just keep it simple. And let's hit save for now. And we'll need to go through authorization the first time, so we'll hit run. And I've logged two files here, and those two files match the two files in our folder. Awesome. So the first one is a script. Yep, so that first one is this Google app script that I'm writing in now. And the second one is a Google site, so this one here. That's the one we're after. And we can see the ID here is this 133B MWN, etc. Let's just head back over to our site in the editor view and see if we can find that. So it's not this one here. It's not this last item here, it's this item here. From this function, you could continue on and share the user as a viewer or return the file ID if the MIMI type is a site. But for us, we just wanted to figure out which of this URL is the site ID. So let's create another function now, and we'll call this add published viewer to site and let's put in a couple of variables so the first one is going to be const equals email and that's going to be equal to the email address that we want to add in so say mrs yagi san at at gmail.com and then we are going to add in our site so const site and that's going to be the url We'll run all our extractions inside our functions. So let's grab that control A, control C, bring it back over in double quotation marks, control V to paste it in. 
Nice. And let's just scroll down a bit so you can see the full function. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is extract this ID from the URL. We can do that with the JavaScript match method and some regular expression magic. Okay, so let's say site ID. Let's make a constant function site ID that's equal to site dot match. Okay, so inside our match, we want to add in our regular expression. We have a unique starting identifier, and that's going to be this d forward slash. And then we want to find everything between that d forward slash all the way up until we discover the next forward slash. So what can we do? So let's type in d, and let's escape the forward slash with a backslash. And then inside the capture curved braces, we are going to type dot star and question mark. So it's going to say all the values inside this range we want to capture. And then we'll put in our escape and forward slash again. And then that will return an array. The first array will include all the forward slashes. The second array won't include them. So let's just grab that one. So it's going to be array number one. All right, cool. And let's console log just to make sure we got it, site ID, hit save, hit run, sweet. And we're starting at 133, yes, and we didn't chop anything off, RA, excellent. Cool, we don't need that anymore, let's delete. Okay, so there's two approaches to sharing view access or publish view access to the site now. First, we'll try the drive app version. So drive app class, and let's just chain it together and we'll say get file by ID. And now we have our site ID because we figured it out before. And then we want to just add viewer there. And the viewer is going to be email. Let's hit save. Cool. So let's just uh, head back over to our test site and we'll remove Mrs. Yaki sign out of day from this so they can't see, we'll hit save. Cool, and let's just jump into her account and make sure she doesn't have access anymore. Oh no, 404 error, She cool. Okay, so let's add her in programmatically now. And we'll hit run. Permissions, yep. Cool, let's go over to our site first and make sure it's in there. Yep, she's been added as a viewer. Now note here it says viewer and not published viewer. If I use the drop down menu here, you can see this published viewer and this viewer has appeared as an option. Don't fret, it has the same functionality as a published viewer. Let me show you in a minute. So we'll hit done. Let's go over to Mrs. Yagi's account and we'll refresh. And you can see she now has view access to the site, but, but does she have view access to the editor site? Let's check it out. So we'll just copy this and paste it back over. We'll hit Control V again and hit Enter and see what happens. All it does is forward her to the view, view site, which is exactly what we want. Perfect. What you will find with this is that Mrs. Yagi will receive an email notifying her that she's been shared to this test site here. If you don't want the email, we can use the advanced drive API functions. So let's go ahead and quickly do that as our final example. So I'm just going to uh, comment this out and let's head over to services and we'll scroll down and find drive API. We'll keep the identifier, hit add and a couple of enters. And this time around we'll use the drive. So now we've got this drive, which matches this and we're going to use the permissions class and we will use the insert method. And inside the insert method, we're going to have three parameters. The first one is going to be an object containing the permission information here. So the first one is going to be value. And counterintuitively, that is actually the email. So we're going to type an email here and add a comma. And then our next one is going to be type. And what does type mean? So type it can be a number of things. So it can be a user, it can be a 
uh, group or it can be a domain or it can be anyone uh, as you can see in the documentation here cool let's make sure we've got a comma there and our next item we want to add is the role so what role do they have well we want to make them a reader only so similarly uh, we have viewer here so viewer and reader are the same again we add the person as a editor to to the site as well but we're going to give that one a miss because we just want them to view the site okay so our next parameter for the insert method is going to be the site id nice and then our final parameter is going to be any optional arguments that we have and that optional argument we have one of which is going to be send no t i f o send notification email and then we're going to set that to false cool let's give it a save if i haven't made a mistake we should be able to run this successfully first let's head back over and re remove mrs yagi san Aday. and hit save she's out again let's just prove it okay 404 error that's what we wanted to see nice let's hit run now cool execution complete no errors it's promising let's go over here and check yes she's been added and we'll refresh and now she's been shared on the public uh, public view of the Google site that we've generated. Okay, so that's it for sharing users on a public Google site with Google Apps Script. You can find this script in the written tutorial that is linked in the description below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, please subscribe. Until next time.